Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the final part of the YOLO version 3 implementation. So far we have set up our network and fed it with our webcam image. Now we will learn how to use the output of the network to display the bounding boxes and to classify our objects. So let's get started. So here is an example that sometimes what happens is because we have thousands of boxes, some of them will overlap. So some of them basically are referring to the same object. So in this case, what we have to do is we have to remove uh, one of these boxes. If, for example, there are two, maybe there are more than two, maybe there are four or five. If it's very confident, you know, a lot of boxes are finding the same thing. So what we have to do is we have to remove them. So to remove these, we have a very simple function uh, by the name non-maximum suppression. So in, in the lamest terms, uh, what it does it, it eliminates the overlapping boxes. So how it does this is basically it finds the overlapping boxes and then based on their confidence values, it will pick the maximum confidence box and then it will suppress all the non-maximum boxes. So uh, that, that is a very simple definition. So this is pretty much what it does at the back end. So we have this function already. So what we can do is we can write here cv2 dot uh, dnn dot nms boxes. And then we are going to send in our bounding box. And as I've mentioned, it is doing it based on the confidence values so we have to send that as well then we will define our confidence threshold and then there is another parameter by the name of uh, nms uh, threshold this is the threshold of this nms function nms threshold so we didn't define it before so we are going to go up and we will define it here and let's keep it at zero point let's say three so the lower it is, uh, the more aggressive it will be and you will have less number of boxes. So even if you are using it and you are finding a lot of boxes, just reduce the value. So here we are going to write this and uh, what this will output is basically the indices that you have to keep. So what we are sending in are all these bounding boxes and it will tell us which of these bounding boxes to keep by uh, giving their indices so all we have to do now is just loop over these indices and then draw our uh, bounding box so we can write here for i in indices um, we are going to write here i is equals to i at zero uh, why am I doing this? Let me show you. So let me just print this out. So print indices. And there you go. So you can see again, there is an extra bracket. So we have to remove that. So we are just saying that uh, take the first element, which is zero. And uh, that is it. And then we are going to say box is equals to bounding box at i what happened okay so bounding box at i and now we will extract the x y width and height and which is basically your box at zero then your box at one then your box at two and then your box at three and uh, the last thing left is just to draw them so we can use cv2 dot rectangle and here we can write image and then we have the x and the y and then we have uh, the corner point which is x plus width and then y plus height then we have to define the color i prefer purple so 
will write here 255 255 and then we will put the thickness as 2 so if we were to run this now and there we have it so now we can see that we have a bounding box around our car now what we don't have is the what do we don't have we don't have the name and the confidence value so we can print that out as well so what we can do is we can write here cv2 dot put text we will write image and then we are going to write a long string so we will write here um oh not this bracket this one and uh, we will write here that we need first of all using the class ids we want to get the height element and using this value so this will give us the uh, the number of the id the index of the id now using this we are going to get the name the actual name from our from our class names so class names and then we will put this here so this should give us the name and uh, because all of them are in small letters i prefer to put them as capital so we can write upper dot upper will make it capital letter and then we can write the confidence value so we can write here that our confidence okay where did i do okay so we will write here uh the confidence we want to get from our ith uh element and um, let's just put it because this will be 0 0.8 0 0.9 so we want it in percentage so we'll multiply it by 100 and uh, then we can add a percentage in front of it and uh, let's just make it integer so that we don't get a lot of decimal values okay and then we are going to define the x and y position so we will write here x and then y minus 10 uh, minus 10 is so that it just shifts a little bit up it doesn't touch the bounding box because it looks weird then we will write cv2 dot font and let's pick up the which one let's pick up the simplex and we will give it 0 0.6 as the scale and then we have the color the color again we will put as purple 0 255 and then we have the thickness and we'll put it as 2 so if we run this now and there we have it so now we can see that we have the car at 99% so let me move this around and you can see how much speed and how much accuracy that we are getting. So as you can see the speed is quite slow so what we can do is we can use our uh, tiny uh, yolo tiny and we can write here tiny and if we run this again now you can see that the speed is quite fast let me move it again and you can see So as you can see the speed is now faster but uh, the accuracy not so much so when i put my hand uh, on top of the car the detection is lost and then when i release it back then it comes back again so tiny can be used in many different situations if you want to run it on cpu or if you want to run it on something like raspberry pi or uh, just a nano then you can use tiny but if you want to run faster with higher accuracy then you have to use uh, the gpu and in this case then you will have to use nvidia's gpu with uh, all the required uh, softwares installed 
and then you can get much higher speed and in the later videos we will see how we can achieve that as well so this is it for today's video i hope you have learned something new if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe and i will see you in the next one